there. If you are considering a move to Montana, but you're not quite ready to jump in with both feet, you have come to the right place because today I have Bob and Lisa here with me. You might recall that about two years ago, they recorded part one of their story of their move here to Montana. They were having a house built. And today we get to catch up with them again and just follow up and hear how things are going for them in Montana. I am Janet with Radiant Realty, your Montana realtor. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and stay a while and don't be shy. I love reading your comments, answering questions, and also if you are looking to buy or sell a property or a home here, definitely give me a call anytime. I would love to hear more about your needs. You can reach me at 406-890-5390. But for today, let's jump in and hear how it's going with Bob and Lisa after that part one of them building their home. And now our house is done. And here we are sitting <laughs> on the deck. Uh, we're, we looked all over the Rocky Mountains for so long to have a uh, to have a house where we could enjoy all the seasons and we found Montana was the last place on our uh, last stop on our trek up the Rocky Mountains from Taos to Durango to Dillon to uh, Salt Lake City uh, all the way up the Rocky Mountains and uh, and we found the last best place that's on the license plate in Montana and it's true we love it here we're so happy so once we figured out that it was going to be Montana we went online to try and get some information and do our due diligence and we found Janet's videos and we started watching all the videos about her walking tour in Kalispell and her walking tour in Whitefish and we start, I started getting more and more kind of like, hmm, maybe this is a good option and we reached out to Janet. She was super, super gracious with her time. She gave us an hour-long video talk conversation and talked us through kind of the different areas because there are different sections within the Flathead County. We kind of chose a couple that we thought might be interesting. And then about three or four weeks later, we flew up and Janet, again, was really gracious with her time, took us on a day long tour. We went to two or three different places. And I think this was number one. This was the first stop and everything else kind of paled in comparison. We at the time, it was just a vacant lot. Um, but it was under contract with a builder who was going to build it as a spec house. So they already had the plans approved through the HOA. And I mean, it was just, it was just perfect. It was just like a perfect thing because the plan that the builder had come up with was exactly the floor plan that I would have dreamt of. And the location was great. It backs up to a golf course. Bob's a golfer. So it was just like, yes, 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 yes. And I think we got into contract within a week. Mm -hmm. The building process, um, we had a little bit of supply chain stuff back in 2021, but still the builder was really great. And we, um, we got in in about six or seven months and um, we've been here ever since. The first thing your friends and family will say when you tell them you're interested in moving to Montana is, where's Montana? <laughs> uh, and, and why there? And the, the, and what you find here is it's, a, it's still a small town atmosphere. Yes, it's grown. Yes, a lot of people have moved here over the last few years. But, the, but I know the name of the guy at the grocery store that checks me out. And, the, and he knows me. And uh, and we know the names of the people who check our little badges at Whitefish Ski Resort, and they know us. And it's a there's a community feel here. We know, I know the names of the people at, at the farm where we buy our produce, and the and they know me. And that is just the most wonderful feeling to be in a community where everybody knows each other, and it's not just this huge impersonal place. Uh, that is the antithesis of the Flathead. Uh, Ever, you know your neighbors, you're friends with them, you have them over, we um, play golf with them. It's a great experience to be in a small town again. We came here because of golf and mountains. And I, I think the biggest surprise for me has been how much there is to do here. It is literally a year-round recreational um, place to be. The, from skiing in the winter to snowshoeing to hiking in the spring and summer, to fishing, to water sports, to hockey. I mean, it, it, it's just unbelievable. Swimming, tubing, there's just, there's always something to do. Yeah. And never mind that there's the mountains and in Glacier the fall National right Park. now, right. in the fall right now, the leaves are turning. It's, it's probably the prettiest place I've ever been. 
and everything you would want to do, every recreational activity is world class and it's 20 minutes, like max. You're, you're able to get the best mountain biking, hiking, fishing, all that stuff Lisa was saying uh, in the nation and it's all 20 minutes from where you live. So the, as opposed to a lot of other places along the, the Rocky Mountain front, it's not an hour drive, it's not a two hour drive. There are things to do, hour drive out, two hour drives out, but just for your day to day, you know, hike after work or your uh, drop a line in the water uh, before you go to work in the morning, everything's 20 minutes. So I, 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 I struggle to think of what a challenge would have been. I think the only little challenge that we faced was, again, we built during the supply chain of 2021, and so th a few things were delayed. It took us a little longer, but it, that's really, I think, the only challenge we faced. It's just been the, the best decision we've made in a really long time. Yeah, the, the biggest challenge to me is what, you, what are you going to do each day? Because there's so much stuff that the that when we were coming here I thought oh for sure I'm gonna have a killer mountain bike in the garage but now I'm here and I'm playing golf and I'm hiking and I'm going to the lake and I'm doing all this stuff so I'm like when am I gonna do that <laughs> because there's so much it, 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 it is a challenge to figure out like what are you gonna do each day for your own recreation it's probably gonna be outside um, but even in the winter the the Whitefish Ski Resort is again world-class ranked in the top five or six in the country uh, in terms of guest experience, Glacier National Park is there. The Swan Mountains uh, Mission Valley is right here. Everything is just so close, and you're going to be outside, even in the winter. Like I said, snowshoeing, um, snowmobiles, uh, the ice fishing. The, you're, there's always going to be something to do to take you outside. If you're thinking about coming to Montana, my first advice is, come to Montana, okay, the, and be here and experience it. The second thing is uh, talk to experts. We were lucky enough to have Janet as a resource. Uh, we had a couple other people in the community that we met walking around that we talked to, but talk to people who are here, who know what it's like on the ground, who know what the culture is like, who know what the real estate conditions are like, and who can give you the best advice on where to be. Um, and most of those phone calls are free and the people are nice and uh, it's, it's the best investment of your time you can make just to learn more about the state, learn more about the stuff that's here, find out the things that make one local community different or better than another, um, but get here as fast as you can. I hope that was helpful for you. I think you could tell from the video that Bob and Lisa are just such genuine people. If you have further questions, definitely reach out. I would be happy to talk with you further. Bob and Lisa would probably be happy to talk with you. If you did find this helpful, please do give a big thumbs up. Have an amazing week and I will see you next time.